The lost San Francisco silver dollar? Has it been found? I got one. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. So the lost San Francisco silver dollar. Check it out. This would be a Philippines coin made by the San Francisco Mint. And what it says on here, when Spain ceded the Philippines to the United States following the 1898 Spanish-American War, the U.S. became responsible for overseeing the civil government, including issuing coins. In 1903, Congress authorized new coins to replace the old Spanish coins in use in the Philippines. Issued in the familiar Philippine peso denomination, they were struck by the U.S. Mint and were U.S. legal tender. The largest new coin was a dollar-sized silver peso. It was designed by noted Filipino sculptor Melisio Ferguero. Probably butchered that up. But anyway, he won a design competition. A similar design was also used on smaller denomination sil silver coins. And collectively, the new series was known as the Co Conet. Coins after Charles A. Conet whose report of the reform of the Philippines monetary system led to the creation of the new coins. From 1907 to 1912, silver pesos for circulation were struck in 80% silver at the United States Mint in San Francisco, the closest U.S. Mint facility to the Philippines. San Francisco's S. Mint mark is on the back, to the left of the date. About one quarter of this entire mintage was dumped into Manila Bay and the Philippines in World War II to prevent the invading Japanese from capturing the precious silver. So, pretty cool little story behind all that. We'll bring that down. And you can see that S mint mark right there to the left of the date. So, 80% silver. I purchased this for $20.00. Something different, you know. Oops. Very different. Pretty cool. Well, that wasn't the only thing. There's writing behind on this one, too. And you want to bring that up there? Might as well just... There's going to be words in there that I'm going to butcher up, though. The front of the Philippine silver peso shows liberty with a hammer and anvil with the Mayan volcano in the background to symbolize the Philippines. The notation Philippines is Spanish for Philippines. The back was the American side of the coin. It dictates an eagle and union shield to represent the United States, along with the inscription United States of America. The coin was struck in 80% silver at the United States Mint in San Francisco. All right, let's see this volcano. Oh, yeah, right it's there. back there. Yeah. Pretty cool. So I had no idea about any of these. I don't know my foreign coins very well. So I don't mind this coming with a little bit of history behind it. And while we're there, speaking of history, here's another silver one peso, 1947. This is Douglas MacArthur. And supposedly this is 35 to 40% silver. That's what my LCS said. Pretty cool. So another silver dollar. This one, 35 to 40% silver. He's unsure. So I just thought it was interesting. He sold it to me for seven bucks. The first coin I got for 20 bucks. And then the back of it was this. The lost... San Francisco silver dollar. They paid twenty nine ninety five. Last I, year. Last year, I paid ten dollars less. Of course, there's no taxes here in Indiana, which I'm so glad for. But there's just a couple odd Filipino coins that I've gotten, and uh, my first two Philippines silver dollars. Pretty cool. All right, everyone, it's going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.